Good morning from St. Martin. We are just uh, pulled up to the dock. They are still getting cleared from customs. It's about 20 minutes to 9. We're supposed to be off the ship by 9, which looks like we're on time for that unless something happens. Uh, like I said last night, we got a tour, island tour schedule with Bernard Tours. So we're going to we're going to do that. Uh, got up this morning, got our room service continental breakfast. Uh, let me show you the uh, menu in case it's changed the last time you've seen it. Okay, so this is the included continental breakfast uh, sheet. You just take this, you fill it out, hang it on your door outside. Uh, they do have, these are all free options. And then they do have a couple of paid options, some breakfast sandwiches for three bucks, or I guess that's five dollars for the smoked salmon. But yeah, so we had our continental breakfast this morning, and we're fixing to head out. <laughs> Um, so to find Bernard Tours is really easy if you just keep walking um, Get off the ship. Just keep walking walking walking. Just keep walking straight So you come to the end and you'll see this this kind of roundabout um, Bernard's Tours you see the the vans just you see a guy wearing a Bernard's Tours shirt go up to him He's got a clipboard check you in get you going. So uh, it's about 910 uh, he said a Driver will be here about 930. So we're gonna hang out till then and uh, my homemade punch on the inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now we don't have an open container lot down here, so you could drink as we are driving. Okay. But not. Uh, I'm gonna be the uh, designated bartender. <laughs> okay. So at the different stops that we do, if you need something to drink. You let me know. I'll hand it out to you. And uh, we have a bag up front with uh, <laughs> that we put the empties in. Okay. okay. All right. Now, uh, anyone here for the first time? Okay, welcome to paradise and welcome home to everyone. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick little orientation, giving you an idea of what we're gonna be doing. I'm right now holding up a map of the island of St. Martin, St. Martin. Now, you heard me do the pronunciations and that's because the landmass we're on is actually the smallest in the world divided into two completely separate countries, Dutch and French. Dutch part of the island and making our way to the French side, continuing around the island doing photo stops and uh, during the course of the tour guys we have three major stops okay we have the beach in Grand Casse we have uh, the French capital of Marigot and we have the Princess Juliana International Airport now also as we go around the island Dutch and French guys the island is uh, very unique Dutch and French and all of that came about with exploring the Dutch throughout the Caribbean by the big countries, which we had uh, before all of the exploration being done by the big countries, we actually had two tribes of Indians that settled the islands, which was the Caribs and the Arawak Indians, direct descendants of uh, the Aztecs. The Caribs you could identify with by looking at uh, the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. Those were the very Indians in the movie having Johnny Depp tied on the bamboo or running down the beach trying to catch and eat him. The biggest population of those Indians, the Caribs, would be on the nature island of Dominica, one of the bigger British islands. Back to the uh, completion of uh, what I was explaining guys, but we are now at the border between the Dutch and French side. 
There's four locations used as separation points. You will now notice there's a sign to our right which says Bienvenue Partie de Français, which means welcome to the French section of the island. Alright, here we are at our first stop. This is Oyster Bay on the French side of St. Martin. It's beautiful. between the Dutch and French side. The motto of the island we're on is one island, one people, but many nations. Now the many nations we can speak of, 134 different nationalities from around the world that reside on this very small rock all year round. All right, here we are, the second stop. We are still on the French side of St. Martin. And here's another look of our second stop, French side of St. Martin. We're here for 10 minutes stop. Um, can't remember the name of the beach we're going to to go swim, but this is just a stop off just to see. He said they used to take us here to swim, but because of all the seaweed they're having on the Atlantic side, uh, they're taking us to a different beach to swim. So more to come, but it is gorgeous over here. Seaweed, even with the seaweed, it's still gorgeous. You would actually go about renting a, an apartment instead. And you could get yourself a two bedroom apartment for the month for about uh, 900 euros a month. Which one's Cass Beach? Yeah, it's Grand Cass. Grand Cass Beach. Spelled, spelled by case, not Cass. Oh. Grand Cass Beach spelled by case. There we go. We're gonna go check out the water. Hopefully it's not freezing. It shouldn't be, it's pretty warm. This water is surprisingly buoyant. Surprisingly buoyant? Yeah. I don't really know if there's anything to see under the water. There's not. That's why I didn't pull my snorkel out. Oh. I'd have to go way out there to try to see something. Yeah. Down the beach. Down the beach. Not <laughs> Super. Huh? Super rare occurrence right here. What? Gave it outside into the water. It happens on occasion. Not many occasions, but occasions. Huh? So this is actually Captain Frenchies is where we're at. Yeah, Captain Frenchie's. It's a little bar, restaurant, and a beach. Your boudicks? 
<laughs> Sand in your boudics. Uh, that's what happens when you're at the beach. You get sand in all the places you're not supposed to have sand? Yep. Hair? Most definitely. And I think I just wrapped my... You're having way too many hair problems. Ocean hair don't care. Ocean hair do not care. <laughs> However, I do care if I accidentally go topless. <laughs> I think I think you can do that here. I can, but I really don't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> or I don't know. Maybe that's I mean, the other beach. This is the first time I've even been in a bikini at the weight that I am. So, <laughs> like my entire life, I would have never worn a bikini. I didn't even like wearing a bikini. And this is only the second time I've worn a bikini this year. So, I understand. Here's the drink menu. Now that we get out of the water, we'll get us something to drink. Oh. Not bad prices, those are Euros, so. So, uh, while swimming or at the restaurant there, did you guys uh, get a nice glimpse of uh, Anguilla next door? Yes. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, that's uh, one of the neighboring islands uh, right across the water. That's the island of Anguilla. Now we are right now on the waterfront, guys, in Marigot. See the road we're driving on, going back towards the marina, towards the water? All of this straight around is man-made, reclaimed land. I got like 30 minutes. Here, 35 minutes, and Jamie's making a mad dash for the French bakery. <laughs> We're in the downtown. What did he call this town? Uh, Marigold. 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 Okay, so we got a couple of French pastries. We got a pan of chocolate and a something another chocolate. I know, it's hard for me to. Lots of, lots of chocolate? Mm hmm. Okay. Let's show a picture. Huh? We'll show a picture. We'll show a picture soon. Maybe you'll know what it is. Alright, that thingy. That was like crevette with Cre chocolate. Crevette chocolate. Okay. And um, this one was the pen de chocolate. Oh, okay. And O chocolate? Yeah, those AU. Looks delicious. Are we eating them now? We are. Alright, I'm hungry. <laughs> How's it taste? Kind of buttery? It's buttery. It's almost like a croissant. Like a chocolate croissant? Almost. Not quite. It's, but it is buttery. Mm. But delicious? Mm-hmm. Okay. I like this one better, though. And this is Maasai Lounge. M-A-A-S-A-I. Maasai Lounge. Design pastry. Pastry. And it's got like a worse from 2016. I can't read it because it's so French. I feel like bacon. I feel like I'm sizzling. Huh? I said, I feel like bacon. I feel like I'm sizzling. sizzling. And it's not like it's temperature hot. No, it's just the sun. It's just like when the sun goes behind a cloud, it's like really nice. It's just the, like the sun's rays. Yeah, there's a little outdoor marketplace. You can buy your souvenirs and whatnot. Right here. Kind of bus. We've got less than 10 minutes, so. Watch out. Far. They do not care. There's no crosswalks here. They will run you over. <laughs> 
today. Now we have two planes on the ground. So far, international flight, we have American and JetBlue sitting at the terminal. So very shortly, we will have a couple more of those. And we should see the Air France, not the Air France, sorry, the JetBlue and American. Alright, so we're here at Maho Beach, about to watch the plane take off. Alright, here we go. Big one's coming in. We've already seen a big plane come in. We're here for about 40 minutes. There it goes. There it goes. That's not the biggest plane either. So we just take the airplane. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. We got to see two come in and two take off. Yeah, I would have liked to have been underneath them, but the beach was too packed to try to even. Oh do my that. gosh! Yeah, Maho Beach was like crazy packed. Because it's a really narrow beach at high tide, which I'm figuring that's what's going on. Right? Yeah. So. so not enough room for us. So we got pretty close though. It was, and it was cool. so really cool. It was so really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really busy. The the beach bar was it the airport beach. Bar. The sunset grill. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was super busy too. So, but we're back on the bus. We're back. You, you know, it's kind of nice to see them that busy, considering they haven't been that busy for. Oh yeah. A lot of months. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they're happy. The bus drivers told us that basically 100 percent of their economy is is. Uh, and they don't export anything. Yeah. Tourism is all that they have. Yeah, I hope you have It's good to see, but it's hot out there, y'all. <laughs> Man. It's not even the temperature, it's just like this oppressive it's sun. Like the sun is like baking you like you're in an oven. Yeah, it's, it's harsh. So make sure you remember your hats and your sunscreens. <laughs> no, we're, uh, that was our last stop. We're back on the bus. A couple minutes early. We're supposed to be back at the port at 2:30. Um, all aboard is 5:30, so that gives us a little bit of time to walk around the port. Oh, yeah, we're back off and we're here at the little port area and we're on our mission to find our magnet that we always get Jamie already just got a t-shirt and now she's looking at magnets oh that one sticks good huh Maho Beach St. Martin all right I'm about to pay for a magnet apparently so I'll be back Okay, mission accomplished. We got the magnet. And there she is, the beautiful Carnival Magic. We're walking back. So, and this is the port area, so. Alright, no filming while walking on board the ship. So, we'll see you guys when we get back to the room. So we're back on board. It's um, well, we've been back on board for a little while, but 
we were starving because we didn't eat all day except for the uh, pastry we had and we really didn't eat much breakfast we just got the little continental breakfast I think we ate one little pastry for breakfast so got back on board and went to guys before they closed and got that guys burger Mm -hmm. That was Jamie's second. That was my third. So yummy. Mm -hmm. um, yes, because Carmel does this weird thing where there's like this lull. And we've had this problem before when you come back from like a uh, excursion and you get back on the ship between... You're, you're like too late for lunch and too early for dinner. Yeah, yeah. They close a lot of stuff down at 3.30, 4 o'clock, but then they don't open the next stuff up to like 6. Wow, I'm getting some banding. Um, so you kind of get this lull. Uh, so we, yeah, we, we kind of dropped our stuff and ran up on deck, but yeah. So Bernard's tours. Wow. Yeah. Um, he said they call him the mailman. Yeah. Our, our driver. I think it was Milani. Milani. Yeah. But he was just, he's just said most people can't pronounce it correctly. Yeah. But yeah, if you get Milani, he does a really good job. All in all, I mean, it was well, it was a very well put together tour. I mean, we got to see the whole island, literally. Um, we drove around the entire island. We stopped several times at several places. Um, you know, the one place we... We stopped at lookout, lookouts. We stopped to go to the beach. We stopped to... Yeah. Check out, like, the little downtown. Right. Um, for photo ops. And uh, like I said, we went to the beach for an hour and a half on the at Cass Beach mm -hmm. uh, so yeah so if no, it was you, only an hour was it only an hour it was only an hour it seemed longer it used to be an hour and a half when they went to Orient Beach oh uh, anyway it was long it was long enough uh, for to swim and get a drink so it was good though uh, and what did we pay a uh, hundred bucks yeah so that's ninety nine dollars for the two of us and mm. I paid um, ten of it I think yeah. Beforehand as a reservation. Right, and then I paid the other eighty nine dollars uh, when we got to the port. So, and by the way, they don't have change, so make sure you have exact change, or give it to them as a tip. Yeah. We tipped the driver also when we when we got back, but. Yeah, but we tipped the guy who checked us in because. Yeah. We didn't have change. We didn't have change, so. Anyway, so yeah, we were Bernard's Tours in St. Martin. Um, that is not done through the cruise ship. You can find them online. Um, that's what we did. Bernard's Tours, St. Martin. Go not recommend them enough. Yeah, Google it. You'll find it. Uh, we enjoyed it. Yeah, really easy to find uh, from the cruise port. They're right there. Real easy. All right, so I think we're getting cleaned up now. And we've got late dinner, so we've got uh, uh, what, about four, four and a half hours till dinner. So, which is good because we just ate a guy's burger. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're gonna get cleaned up and then go out on about about the ship, out, out on about about the ship, out right. and about on the ship, and see what's going on for this evening. All right, bye, all. Okay, so we just uh, went and watched karaoke for about an hour or so, mm -hmm. had a couple drinks, and now it's dinner time. Ready to eat? Let's go. It's the broccoli three cheese soup. All right, mozzarella sticks. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And I got the mozzarella sticks and the shrimp cocktail. Mmm, so hungry. All right, so I was starving. I forgot to pick up the camera. But I got the salmon cakes and the braised beef with green beans. They're both delicious. Jamie got the actual uh, New York strip steak off of the everyday menu. And it's really good, so. Yeah, really tender. But since I already started, I'm gonna finish eating because I was hungry, sorry. Yeah. Bitter and blanc. And of course, I got chocolate melted cake. Yum. Alright, so we just got back from dinner and look what we have. Oh, we have a swan. A swan towel friend. 
We just came back here real quick so Tammy could put her stuff down and grab a jacket because it's always cold in the theater. Tonight is the mentalist. Um, maybe they'll hypnotize somebody. Maybe they'll make somebody do the chicken dance. Chicken dance, chicken dance. Woo! Do <laughs> you have me on camera right I think, now? I think, I think I have you in the mirror on camera. Hi, there you are. I'm sitting here rubbing my belly and you're like... <laughs> you're like, oh, I, I ate a baby. big I ate a big dinner. Oh, baby. <laughs> that, was a, that was a big dinner. My tummy hurts. Oh. That's what happens when you eat the main dining room. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, so we're going to head down and check out the show here in just a few minutes. So we'll see you there. Tonight, folks, we are getting ready to bring you an awesome experience. That's what we like to do. Now, tonight, you're going into the world of mind reading. Ooh. Yes, not only is our incredible headliner, not only is he mysterious, but he is also hilarious. I'm going to predict you recently had a meal. Would that be correct, sir? <laughs> yes, that's not. Jonathan. I'm predicting you're from out of town. Oh. <laughs> Brianna, you're a female. <laughs> That's a little warm up. Good night, y'all. Huh? I said good night. Good night. Hi. I'm tired. <laughs> We had a very busy day. We did. Uh, we saw The Mentalist, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very good. It was basically like comedy magic. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to be like hypnotist type I thought thing. that's what it was going to be, but it wasn't. Yeah, no. It was like comedy magic. So, But still, very good. We enjoyed it. Um, so tomorrow is St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. We are going to Honeymoon Beach. Mm -hmm. um, Water Island. Water Island to snorkel and hopefully swim with some turtles. Some, some turtles. <laughs> so we will see y'all in the morning because we gotta get some sleep because we are in St. Helens early. Um, so we're gonna try to make the most use of our time as possible. So we'll see y'all in the morning. Good night. Bye.